So today we'll be doing a how to paint video for the VIP number two very infected people the zombie side and we're gonna show how to paint them and how to do the skin on them. So here's just a little if you're used to our playthrough videos there's our game board and Here's a look at what they look like on the table. So let's see how we start painting up the zombie skin first. Hey everyone, it's Mike from Colin Moore Collection and Hobbies and we've had a couple subscribers ask us how we do the zombies for the game. So I'm going to show you some easy ways to do it with the contrast paints and one of the shades from Citadel Paints. So I already started the Santas here from the VIP number two, Very Infected People. So I'm going to show you how to do all the skin with all of them. So the first guy here is with Reckland Flesh Shade. The next one's with Gullum and Flesh. That's Dark Oaks Fleth. And that's Fire Slayer. And they're almost dry, so that's what they look at at the start. But I'm gonna go through all of them, batch paint them, and show you what they look like. So this is the Reckland Flesh Shade. Wash on the skin. So it's a little lighter than some of the contrast too. Yep. Looks cool though. Raven's here to help film too. Yep. So, so I'm gonna put Reckland on the construction worker now. Yep. That looks good. And skin. Over even the damaged skin parts because we'll go over that with other contrast or paint after too. Yep. And I know there's parts of his skin showing from his pants too. We'll just you, It's okay to be messy with it too? Yeah, that's why I like it. Because it's thin, you can just paint over it, right? Yep. There's holes in his shirt if you want more skin to go. And that's a glove so we don't got to paint that part. So, that's the Reckland. Yeah, looks good. The next is Gulliman Flesh. Cool. So the Santa for that one, he's going now. That's what the Gulliman looks like. For the start of it. Nice. So it's a little bit similar to the Raglan. Yeah. Well, when we have these all four done, I can show what they look like when they're all dry, too. Yeah. So this is Gulliman. See what I'm saying? It's very easy to paint over, so you don't have to be too perfect, but yeah. don't go crazy and hit that <laughs> like that and stuff. Yeah. Mm. You can easily paint over it, though. If you want it darker, just put, you can put another coat on it, too. Yep. And even if you miss all the little holes, when you decide to go up and highlight it, you can always fill the holes in with your other paint, too. Yep. You can use your wash brush or whatever brush you use that you're using for washing. You go up and pick up the pools left too, because if you leave the pools there, it will pool when it dries and look dark. Yeah, which is important. Yeah. That's important with washes too. Yeah, just pick up the pooling parts. Oh, so that's the Gulliman. It's going to dry, not as shiny too, so always wait to what it looks like when it's dry. It's not going to look like that completely. Right. So. This is Dark Oats Flesh, so that's the Santa with the Dark Oats Flesh. Yeah, that's a little bit lighter, right? <laughs> it's hard to tell them. It looks a little yeah, bit it's lighter. a little bit lighter. It's lighter, but has more brown in it, I think. Ah. So this is the Dark Oats Flesh. Yep. Has a little bit more red in it, too. Yeah, you can see that now when it's wet on the model. So yeah. There's a little more red in it. Let's 
spots there. It's back. It's on here. So that's the Dark Elves flesh. That looks nice. This is a Fire Slayer flesh. So if you can see that the Games Workshop stuff, it's the dwarves. Yeah. So they have a little bit more red in the tints of their skin Some too. Ruddy, ruddy brown, a little brown too, right? Seems yeah. A little bit it's kind of like a contrast Bugman's glow almost. Yeah. So. Santa. So let's do a construction worker in that. Yeah, this one works. I think this might be the darkest one out of all of them, but there's more red in this one too. Right. Yeah, it looks, when you put it on, it looks darker. So I'm curious to see what it looks like when it dries. Uh, do you find that the, the darker contrast paints are harder to paint over than the lighter ones? No, once they dry, like they're thin too, okay. so they're very easy to paint over. Okay. Cause there's, they're like a wash, so. Right. Now, if you let pool like a big drip like that, yes, that's going to be hard to paint over. And yeah. it will also dry very shiny. Right. So. That's important. I just clean it up a bit. Back. Like I said, even if you miss spots while doing this part, you can go back and touch them up. When you do touch-ups, too. Yeah. There we go. So that's the Fire Slayer flesh. Nice. So I think we're just going to show how to showcase how to paint the skin on these. And we're just going to do the Santa and the construction worker. Yeah. I'll show you them when they're all done later at the end of the video. Yeah. When I do the, the sailor and the punk and the police officer. Yeah. yeah. I'll show them after. But I think just for the video, we'll show how to do two. Okay. So these are the Reckland flesh ones. Yes. So they're almost dry. There's a little bit wet underneath his arm there. Yeah. So if there is a little bit of pulling, you just take your brush and dab it on it. Yep. So I know there's shade in the contrast, but I want to thicken it up a bit or make them look a little more dirty or more grungy. Right. So I'm going to put Agras on one and Camo on the other. Yeah. So for the sh Santa, I'm going to put Agras or shade. Yep. Now, some of these are a little bit shiny. I think this batch of eyeglass we got is a little shinier than normal. Yeah. So we use flat sealer on them so it dulls it down a bit. Yeah. So it might look a little more shinier. Yeah. Make sure you shake up your washes though. Yeah. So Very this is, important. Even though it's a little dirty already, I'll just take eyeglass over the contrast. It's okay if it's a little wet because then you'll get a little bit of a blend in there anyway. Yeah. Make sure it's not soaked, but just dirty them up a bit. Now, if you had other paint on there, you could dirty up the paint too. There's a good red contrast fire slayer, which I'm going to use afterwards yeah. to paint it. But if you had flyer slayer, not fire slayer, forget that one. Flesh terror. Okay. Flesh terror red contrast would be really good for the cloak too. Yeah. So, but we're just yeah, it's doing nice. Skin. The red one's really nice. And then that was Agrath for Santa. Now I'm going to do camo shade on the construction worker. Yeah, we use that a, quite a bit for the zombies, right? Yeah. I use it too. And I'll just go over the contrast Gives it too. a nice greenish tinge, which is nice. Yeah. You can just see there, there's a nice greenish tinge to it. Yeah, so it's a little mossy, greedy, dirty. Yeah. Sickly. And that was the Reckland, one of those. Yeah. So now it's Darko flesh I'm going to do next with these two. Yep. So I think I'm gonna make the Santa with camel shade now. So I'll switch it up. Okay. Now 
And if you alternate stuff like that, it's good for if you have multiple models that are exactly the same. Gives them a little variation, right? Yep. Even if you're trying to name them two, if you want them to look different, they're easy to pick out which one is what. Like, that's Tim, that's Jim, because they look different. Yep. But if they all look the same, they're all Tim. Yep. So, that was a camel shade. One, one. And then I'm going to do earth shade on... Construction worker. Construction worker. Yeah. Daryl and his other brother. Daryl and his other brother. Daryl. Looks like he's dirty from the construction side of it. Now, another way you can do the skin, which, you guys, is we can use Dark Oaks Flesh, not Dark Oaks Flesh, uh, Drachnoff and Juchili, if you want it to look more undead too. Right. So I'm going to grab those and show you what they look like on the other two contrast paints. Okay. So this is the uh, Dark Oaks Flesh. Yep. Now let's drive it. So depending on the tone you want, that's the one you can pick if you want to. Yep. So let's try, we'll put Juchili on this one. I find the Agrath and the Camo Shade, I do overall washes because you just want them to look dirty. Yeah. And you can just put it all over. I find with the Juchili and the Drachnoff, sometimes it's a little overbearing when you put it on everything. Right. Because then you'll kind of look like your zombies like Grimace or Purple or something. Yeah. So I put it sometimes in the recesses. If you have a smaller wash bus, this one's a little thicker. We're not being too crazy with it, but I don't put it. I don't do an overall wash with it. It's right. also good under eyes and stuff too, to make it look like their eyes are sunken or more undead. Or if there's in their mouth. if there's like boils and other marks and stuff yeah. too. Sometimes I don't bumps. do a whole huge, and I'm not too thick with it. I don't do a big overall wash when I use Juchili or Drachnoff. Yeah. So like in the recesses, I put it in too, like in the little recesses of the hands and stuff. Yeah. And then some of it pooled like in the mouth and stuff there. So I'll dry off my brush. I'll just dab it up. Especially under the eyes too. You don't want this to go on too thick. And that's too chilly. Right. Dracking off I find even worse if you do an overall off. It goes on pretty thick. Yep. And it actually looks a little worse than if it was before. Yeah. So same thing. I'll just go, could be using a smaller wash brush, but I'll just do it in the recesses. Under the eyes is a good one. Under the mouth. I won't do the whole arm, because if you, so if you go like on the whole arm, it gives it too much blue. Yeah. And I don't like that effect. You could, like if you're doing vampires sometimes or other ones, but. Or for some reason you had underwater zombies or something. Yeah. Blue might work. The camo shade actually looks really good for that too, because they would get like the bloated bossy effect on the water. Right. But I go under the recesses with it. Any like crevices or anything. Yep. And damage is really good too. If there's damage in the skin. I'll put it there too. Yep. A bit and there so if there's damages in the skin like that one another thing you can do too so you could take two chili and mix it with a drachnoff even if they're wet a bit just to show that the skin is damaged a bit around there yeah blend it in so it's like you got a bruise on your arm or the skin's damaged too right yeah and then the last step, which I didn't grab, I'll go grab it. So the last step around that damaged arm part there where flesh is exposed. Yep. You could use Corusburg Crimson. Yep. Or if you want it to be more bloody, you can use that contrast paint we said before, the Flesh Terror Red. Yes. And then it could be really dark red. Yeah, because Corusburg Crimson isn't red per se. It's more of a, a like pinky, a burgundy. A wine color. It's yeah. A, like a burgundy kind of wineish color. So... And I'll put that usually inside the wound. Right? Yeah. 
if you want your zombie, you could also use it if you want more reddish tins on areas of your zombies too. Yep. If you want the skin to look bruised a bit or damaged a bit too. Yep. So I had that tracked off up there. I'll put a little bit of the crimson up here too. Even mixing it with it a bit so it blends a bit when it's wet. Yeah. Cool. That looks cool. And the last one is Fire Slayer. So it's dry a bit now, so it is a little bit darker than the other ones. Yeah. So if you want the more darker zombie Sun fresh. burnt kind of looking. Yep. And that's the construction worker was the same. Yep. So for these cool. ones, we've done effects on the others. I won't do any effects on these ones to show you guys what they look like with... I won't put uh, camo shade or earth shade on these. I'll okay. just bring the skin back up. Okay. So, so that's what those ones are. So that's all the washes. Like I said, we're just going to do the skin. We won't do any of the other stuff yet, but I'll show what they look like when they're done. What's the skin? Yeah. So the next step now would be bringing up the skin a little bit more. If you want to add more highlights, you can... If you just want a quick tabletop ready, you can just use these. Let's see which ones are not dry. So this was a Requiem Flesh Aid ones. So was. If you just want quick tabletop ready ones, that's what's a camel shade on the construction worker. Yeah. We didn't do the damaged skin on that one. We did on the other ones, but we can always go back and touch it up and do it. Yeah. So you can use those now, but I'm going to highlight them up a little bit more. So I'll show you what colors to use when we highlight them. Okay. So I just grab... Usually all the different highlights I use for skin. I just wanted to show all the different paints. You can use multiple different ones. Yeah. So there's some Citadel ones here. Pallid Witch Flesh and... What's that one? Ironic Skin? It's like from Deepkin Flesh. It's... Yeah. From the Sea Elf ones. Pale Skin from Scale 75. Highlight Skin. That's Nocturnal. Vallejo. Pale Flesh if you want it more. It's like a gray pale skin. Yeah. And then white flesh and light flesh. So let's try. So on the Reckless Flesh Shade one, that has agrass on it. Yeah. So it's a little bit dirty. So if I want to bring it up on this one, maybe I'll try. This one will be the pale skin. Okay. So this is the pale flesh. Yep. So I'm just going to go over some of the raised bits with this. I won't do the eyebrows because those will be white later. Yep, Santa. Santa needs his white eyebrows. And then he says, chin there. Put on his hands. Yeah, knuckles and that sort of thing, right? Yep. Now, if you want to go over everything, you can go on the race parts or you can just bring the skin up completely. Yep. On certain spots if you want. Just leave some of the recesses too. Cool. And that's painting over it with pale skin. Cool. I'll do, after pale flesh, I'll do highlight skin. Okay. On the very edges. Okay. So, I'm going to do highlight skin now. And on the very edges, of the pale skin. I'll just bring up the highlighted skin there. Got knuckles too. Yep. Good trick with zombies too, because they not the dirty. If you make a mistake you can always cover it with dirt or blood too. Yep. Or goo. Yeah. Knuckles on this one. So, that's the skin. Nice. Now for their eyes. Because we already did those. I'll do unrot skin. Because they won't be completely white because they're dead, right? Yeah. So, I'll just take that there. Just do a little 
dab in the eye. Same as that one. In the eye there. Cool. And their eyes are just pure white in the picture, so I'll be able to just leave them pure white right now. You can go back and take black and put a little dab if you want, but I'm just going to leave them white right now. Yeah, cool. And then for his mouth, I use this for tongues, usually a lot of them. There's other colors you can use, but I use Fuchsia a lot for scale 75. Yep. So I run out of it. So for his tongue, I'm going to paint it Fuchsia. Cool. Most of the time, the tongue will have blood on it, or the mouth will have blood coming from it anyway, so it's not, you don't got to worry about it too much, because I'll probably have drool or something coming from it, but. Yep. I just put Fusa there in the tongue, and the tongue's done. Cool. So that's his eyes and his tongue. Nice. We can do the beard too, so I'll do the beard because it's part of the face. Cool. So for the beard starting, I'm going to use dark sea gray. Nice. And then I'm going to highlight it with one of our newer ones, gray, blue gray pale. Cool. So. so I haven't used it too much as I look on my palette. The blue gray pale is a little bit darker than the dark sea green. Okay. So I'm going to do the blue gray pale first. Okay. So this is a blue-gray pale now. Yep. And his eyebrows too. Like so. Cool. And now I'm going to do the dark sea gray next. Okay. So this is a dark sea gray? Yep. On the top of it. Cool. And then for effect paint, I'm going to take Green Stuff World Vomit. Yep. And I'm just going to put that by his mouth right now. So I'm going to do the vomit around the mouth now. Yep. Okay, there. It's like Nurgle's rot almost. Yeah. And we'll put it around his mouth. Like so. Yeah. Cool. So, his skin's done up too. Nice. Now, if you want to even look more dirty, once they're highlighted, you could go back and wash over it again with camo shade if you want to bring it back down yeah or you could use agrass to bring it back down and make it look more dirty yeah but that's what it looks like so far cool i'll bring it back up with pale skin from scale 75 cool so i'll just bring up some of the skins on the raised parts yep This is a, a flat paint, so it will dry flat. It's not as glossy. Scale 75 paints are not semi-gloss. Right. They're, they dry flat. Yeah. So I find for highlights, they're pretty good. Yeah. Because the highlight won't dry shiny. This is there. Depends how much detail you want to give them, too. If you can go just on all the raised spots around, I'll put some where the skin is damaged over here, too. Yep. There. And that's with a pale skin highlight on it. Nice. And then there's a little holes in the damage in their outfit too. Yeah. I'll go back and touch up with highlights too. Cool. Even more so once I paint the pants and stuff. If I nick it or something, I can go back and touch it up. But yeah, that's what's in there. Cool. Now that's already a pretty bright highlight on it anyway. Yeah. So I'm not going to bring it up any higher than that. Okay. 
But same like I did with Santa. I'll use fuchsia on the tongue again. So I still had some on my palate. So I'll take the fuchsia that I used on the Santa. Put it inside on his tongue there. Okay, cool. And same like I did with the Santa, the iron on skin. Cool. I'll put that in his eyes. Awesome. Up there. And that's his skin done. Nice. You can always go back to like we did on the other one and do the damage there on the skin. I might do it when I do the final highlights too. Yep. But even, I can show you here now. I won't use a wash brush. Okay. I'm gonna use my detail brush to go back where the wound is because I don't want it to be too dirty or make a mess with the wash brush. Right. I have more control over my smaller brush. Yeah. And I'll just go over it with crimson. If it pools, I'll just dry up my brush and bring it around a bit. And that's crimson inside the wound, right? Yep. Nice. That's his skin. Cool. So I'll do a little bit of effects on him too. So we had the we did the vomit on the Santa, so let's do the Green Stuff World bile. Yep. That's more like Nurgle's rot. It's a bit more yellowy than the Nurgle's rot, right? I think. A little bit, yeah. And where we just did the crimson, I'll make it look like his skin has green stuff coming out of it. Ew. There. You can cool. even, same with the crimson, if it's a little bit wet, you can blend it in there. Gives it more effect. And once I paint more of the clothes, I'll run it down here like that and make it run maybe down even to the base. Nice. And just make it more disgusting, maybe. I'll take it. And where his eyes are, maybe make it look like his eyes are leaking too. Yeah. Bring that from his eyes. Cool. I know there's a box of toxic people for this too, so you, this would work good if you want to make look like poison zombies too. Yeah. So his eyes are really too. Neat. So that's the skin done on the flesh shade ones. Cool. So. There's other, like I told you before, the other paints we did for the skin, the pale flesh, highlight, all those. You can go back and pick which ones you want to highlight them up to. Yeah. I don't want to keep doing every single one and show you every one because it might be tedious. Yeah. But we saw how we did the first ones on the flesh shade. We saw what the the contrast looks when it dries a bit. So yeah. let's, this is Gullum and Flesh now. And that had camel shade on that one. Yeah, nice. So if you want to stop it there. Oop. This was Gulliman's Flesh 2, and this had... Agrass, I think, right? Agrass on it, yeah. yeah. Nice. This was the Dark Ghost Flesh, and that had Juchili on it. Yeah. So it has a little bit of purple tinge to it, right? Yep. Yeah. Now you could always bring that back up, say, was how we did it before, was Pale Flesh and Highlight Skin, or you could do the... Pale Flesh from Scale 75 if you wanted. Right. Depends how you want to highlight it up, right? Yeah. That was also Dark Ghost Flesh, but that's... See, that's what I was talking about with the Drakenoff Nightshade, how it went pretty blue. So yeah. if you're pretty heavy-handed with that, you can actually ruin the contrast you put underneath it because then it's just really blue, right? Right. So, unless you did small batches, I find it's a lot better. Yeah. What I might do with that, because it's pretty blue in the face and the arm, I'll go back over with another wash or bring it up Bring the highlights higher where that is. Yeah. So that's that. And then Fire Slayer, which was a darker one. We don't have any other effects or anything on the doubt. No. That's Fire Slayer. Yeah. Cool. So that pretty close to a just fresh zombie almost, I find. There's no... Yeah. The skin doesn't look too damaged or anything. No. Looks a little but bit sunburnt, but... Yep. 
you want sunburnt zombies, that's a good one. Yeah, I was thinking with the blue one, if you wanted to do frozen zombies too, that might be cool. Yep, and that's the Santa with the Fire Slayer flesh. Yeah, nice. Cool. So I'm going to go and finish these all up and highlight them and finish them, and I'll show you what they look like when they're done, and then I'll probably just put out the paints to show you what I used afterwards. Yeah. That's why we don't have a watch us paint every single one and be a little tedious and stuff. Yeah. So. We'll come back when we're done. Yep. Finish the bats painting on the VIP Santas. And for the coat, I did flesh tailor red, like you're talking about. And for the white around the cloak and coat, we did apothecary white. Blue green is on the beard, and the fuchsia is for the tongues. Black Templar is for the boots and the belt. Brass is for the buckle on the belt. And I did three of them with Agrath Ursae to make them look dirty. So those first two there. And the one we started that we did the highlights on the skin for. And one is washed all in non-oil. This is that one there. And then on the base, I put Astro Granite Debris, and it's still a little wet now. But when it dries, I'll put some non oil on that. You can put Agrass, but I find when you dry brush, it looks a little weird sometimes. I'm sure there's a better way probably to do it. Agrass or shade on it, but I'm just going to put non oil on it once it dries. And then the basing of them would be done. And once that's done, you can have them table ready if you don't want to highlight them up anymore and just look, make them look like that. You might put a little effects like we did on the first one with the vomit and the bile. But I'll show you what they look like once they're completely dry. And I'm going to start layering them up too. So the zombie Santas are done now. That's the back of them. Also, there's some blood effects on the base and some goo. And some texture paint. That's the snow on the base. So, for the base, I just dry brushed London Grey after I washed it with snow and oil. And for the beards, like the first one, I did blue green pale. And then I highlighted it with dark sea grey. On those little beards there. For the eyes, I did Ayn Rand skin. So I just painted them in white in the eyes. The tongue is fuchsia. I went back and highlighted the tongue even though they're two of them are covered in goo anyway. The belt is brought back up with brass, brass and then gold from Phileo. And then I did, I went over the contrast black which is just Phileo black and then dark gray on the belts and the boots. And then I went on the white parts with silver gray, which I use for mostly highlighting up contrast. And then the final highlight. Actually, I didn't do a highlight on the silver gray, so the silver gray is just silver gray. Sometimes I use ivory on it, but I didn't want it to go too high of a highlight because they're just dirty, messy zombies. Then for the skin, I used pale skin. Went back over the contrast paint with it. And then I highlighted the pale skin with highlight skin. So, you can see it on some of them. Some of them are covered with effects paint. And then on the base, I used Vahalian Blizzard 
and all I took was a where's my crappy brush Raven and Khaleesi are asleep so I'm doing this by myself so I'm kind of up at night being a painting vampire so deal with the crappy filming sorry but I used my crappy brush and I just dipped it in the blizzard and I just kind of like dry brushed it on to give it look like there was snow on it so I just took my brush went like that over the model and just put it on the base too and let it dry so actually probably not dry now but it takes a bit to dry you gotta be careful it flakes off a bit but it gives it the effect that it has snow on it it's kind of cool and then for the effects I did green stuff world vomit just to make them look more disgusting over the mouth and I think I did some on the back too oh yeah out of one of his wounds make it look all disgusting and then the blood I did like in the previous painting video I did a straw and blew on the blood on the straw and made it splatter on the base for blood for the blood guard effect paint from Citadel and then I dabbed some of it on the front of that one so those are the Santas from the VIPs and we saw how to do skin at the start of the video so I'm probably gonna go back and do the rest of the VIPs so I think I'll still film it if you guys want to see the rest of it you can stick around and see how I do the rest so the construction workers are based in Wasps now. For the helmet, I used two different contrast paints. Ivan in yellow and Griffin in orange. For his shirt, I just used Apothecary white. And the jacket and pants, two of them is Galeo Azir and the other one is contrast paint that's the Biden blue and that's the jackets and pants for the black I just use black Templar and just like the other ones fuchsia for the tongue for the eyes, we use that. For the belts they're wearing, I used Overlord Olive. So that's their belts on all of them. And they have a little wrench on their belt there that I did in Iron Warriors. For the damage on the skin, like the other one I did Crimson. So like damage on the arm back there is Wasp was Crimson. For the base of the model to make it look like mud, I used Sterling Mud. It's texture paint. And then I used Agrass Earthshade for a dirty wash over everything. And then two of them. Two of them had non-oil as an overall wash on them. So that's them, they're tabletop brevity if you just want to do contrast paints and fast painting. But I'm gonna layer them up a bit and I'll show you what they what they look like when they're layered up. So I finished up the construction workers. That's the back of them. Paints I used for the skin to layer it up. I just did one. That was white flesh from Vallejo. I didn't want to layer it up too high because they were going to get dirty and have blood effects and stuff on them too. So for one of the helmets, I used flat yellow to highlight it. And then the other helmet was orange brown. And that's the two 
different color of the helmets. For his white shirt, I highlighted it with deck tan. So just on the raised surfaces. I don't want to go too high with that too, because same thing, it's going to get bloody and dirty anyway. For the tongue, same thing, fuchsia. For the eyes and the teeth this time, because these ones have a little bit of teeth showing. I dry brush the base this green stuff. The colors wiped off because I use it a lot. I think it's Quicksilver Brown. For one of the vest, I use Cantor Blue. So it's a darker one to go over it. And for the other vest, I used Azure. I just went back over it, bring it up a little bit on the edges. For his belt, I used dark umber over top of the previous one. For the wrench, I just went on the edges a tiny bit with a lead belcher. You can see there. For the blood effect, did blood for the blood god. Same with thing with the straw. I just put it on the tip of my brush and blew it on to make it look like it splattered. I used Nurgle's rot to make them look a little disgusting in some of the places. That guy has Nurgle's rot coming from his mouth there. And for the rim. Because we make all our zombies rims different colors so we know who's who. For the VIPs, I'm doing light turquoise. So, that's the construction workers. And I'm going to work on the police officers next. So I got the VIP police officers based in Watts now. For their uniform, I used the Vidon blue, it's contrast paint. And for the black, for their shoes and their belt, I used black Templar, another contrast paint on them. For their badge, I did Vallejo brass. And same with the other ones, the tongue I did fuchsia and the eyes and teeth are the iron ranch skin and for the texture mud bases sterling mud and some of the skin has camo shade on it And some of it has Agrath. And I did an overall wash of non-oil on the texture paint when it dried. And on the uniform and the belt and everything else has non-oil on it. On the whole model. Except the skin. So those would be tabletop ready. But same with the other ones. I'm going to highlight them up a little bit more and show you what they look like. So I finished up the... VIP police officers. So the first thing I did was I dry brushed the Sterling Mud texture paint. And again, I dry brushed it with, name's not on there, Quicksilver Brown, I believe it is. Same like before, in the tongues was Fuchsia. I didn't go over the eyes in this one because I didn't hit them with anything, so. They're okay. I went over the badge with brass from Vallejo. And final highlight was gold over top, just to give it a little bit more shine.
the uniform I highlighted back up with Cantor Blue. Just on the edges. The skin I brought up was Light Flesh from Model Color. Just the same thing on the edges. I don't want to go too high with the highlight on the skin because I don't want it to be too bright and they're grungy, dirty zombies anyway. And then I did some blood effect with Blood for the Blood God on them. Did the splatter on the base. Used vomit too on some spots. Coming from their mouths or wounds too. Like that guy has some. And then the rim is light turquoise. So we can identify them easier when they're on the board. So next up will be the sailors. Navy guys I think they are. So these are the Sailors Navy guys, the VIPs. It's the back of them. So for their outfits, I just did contrast Apothecary White. That's the major color of them. For their scarf tie thing <laughs> is Levide in blue. They have a little mustache too on them. And their boots that got covered with the texture paint are Black Templar. And again, the same thing with the tongue is fuchsia. The eyes and teeth are orange skin. The base is sterling mud. And then I just did an overall wash with non oil on some of them, like these two. You can see they're a little more darker. And those have overall wash with agrath on everywhere but the skin. And then some have some camo shade on their skin. Give them a little green tinge like this guy here. Some have chili like that guy. Gives it a little more purple. And that one has camel shade. So, they'll be tabletop ready if you just want contrast. But I'm going to highlight them a little bit more up. Give them a little more detail and effects. And I'll show you what they look like. So the Sailor and Navy zombies are done now. So the first paint I used was to highlight up the skin and I used the light flesh just on the raised bits of the skin. I used bronze on the head little metals by the shoulder there that I put bronze on. I did black over their eyebrows and Mustache too. The eyes and teeth have iron skin on them too. Like the other ones. The tongues have fuchsia also. The scarf he's wearing I highlighted up was Cantor Blue. I dry brushed the sterling mud with Quicksilver Brown again. 
some effect paints. I did the bile coming out of some of their mouths and eyes on some of them to make them look gooey. The rim is like turquoise again, the other ones to let us know their VIPs. And I use blood for the blood god for all the blood splatter effects. So that's all of them. And then last is finishing up the rocker punk zombies. So I got the punk rocker zombie VIPs based in Lost now. So for their hair, I did Plague Bearer Flesh on those two, and Silas Purple on those two for their mohawks. For the tongues, we did Fuchsia again, and for the eyes and the teeth, I did Iron Rant Skin again. For the choker and the shirt and belts on some of them, I did Black Templar. The boots on them, I did Sigor Blown. For some of the shirts and the belts, I alternated a bit, so they're on their shirt or their pants. I did. This color. And for their belt chain, I did Iron Warriors. And the basing is Astro Granite Debris. On two of them, I did Estonian Camel Shade on the skin and the hair. And then the other two. I did an overall wash of just Agrass or Shade. So everything on the model. That guy. And that guy. And then the other two. I did not oil on the base. And it's close. So. These would be tabletop ready if you want something quick, but I'm going to highlight them up a little bit too and do some effects on them and show you what they look like. So the punk rock zombies are done now. So I just dry brush the terrain paint with London Gray. And for the skin highlight, it's just on the raised areas, I used white flesh. And like the other ones, fuchsia for the tongue. Iron skin for the eyes and teeth. For two of the hairs on them, I did lime green on their eyebrows too. And the other hair on the other two, that one and that one, is royal purple for their boots. On the little bits that are showing, I used German Sea Black Brown. And for the alternating pants and shirt for the blue, I just went back over some of the raised parts. It's the same paint. And the black, I just went back over again, bring it up a little bit. For their belt chain and studs on their choker and wristbands. 
I went back over it was Iron Warriors. And then on the edges, highlight, I used Lead Belcher. I noticed when I was highlighting them, they had an earring in each of their ears. So the earring I just picked off was bronze. There was still some damaged skin on the side of their head on some of them. Like that guy. Like that guy. So I just went back over it with crimson. And for the blood effects, I used blood for the blood god. Just splattered it on there a bit. Make it dripping from their mouths on some or their hands. And the vomit, same thing. That guy's a little more vomity than the other ones. And the rims like the other ones. The light turquoise. So we know they're VIPs. So I'm going to show you what they look like on the table.